Uh, hello folks, uh, this is Keith doing uh, just kind of a pl browsing round of uh, UCGO online. Uh, I figured since last time uh, I didn't really get to show much of the game and uh, since the server was going down and uh, there actually was a couple people who were complaining about you didn't go to the right city and stuff. Um, but basically, I uh, figured I would show around some of the supply bases. Uh, these are areas where you train at to do uh, PVE combat. Or in other words, you just shoot NPCs. And this is a mobile suit I really want. That's a Zaku uh, desert type B. But, and it looks like somebody flew in. Let's see if he is talking to Vinny. Like I said, a lot of the game play here, I mean, a lot of the players and stuff are foreign or, uh, or they're English speakers or they're AFKers and stuff. So you never quite know, uh, who you can talk to and who you can't talk to and who has moon speak and whatnot. Also, unfortunately, there's this weird glitch or something to where the moment if somebody gets into a mobile suit or uh, appears on the screen, uh, basically, there's like a major lag fit. So you'll be seeing that off and on periodically, and I do apologize for that, but uh, as you can see here, even he's got a little bit of a lag spike. <laughs> So, and unfortunately, he's just off his own world, I guess. But uh, I do have to say that I do have somebody on the uh, subscribers list who plays this game, uh, Xander, uh, and he has some numbers at the end of it. Uh, he was one of the ones griping uh, on my first video about not finding players. So, uh, on the next video, I'll try to actually find some players for him so he can nitpick about me doing something else, because I'm quite sure that I can set something up. Uh, also, I'm nearing, or, like, right after the uh, 200 video mark. Woohoo. <laughs> uh, I don't really know how to do much specials and stuff like that. But this video is all about just basically the uh, combat system and how to get up, I mean, how to get set points and stuff. And to show off some combat. As you can see, I've been training for a little bit. I'm, I'm not great yet, but I'm getting to where I can start taking out these uh, MBTs quite quick. Uh, Basically, the MBT is the uh, Federation's version of uh, the Megillah that I'm using right here. So basically, it's tank on tank fighting. Uh, if you if you get some good rolls in and you have some good skip that point, so you can probably take about four or five of them out, at least three maybe. Uh, as long as you're in this, this is basically the um, you're you're broke and you need to get cash sort of thing. Also, you notice the cursor on the screen is red. That means that I'm in uh, combat mode, uh, and that's very important because you want to be careful what you're clicking on. Uh, a lot of times you'll accidentally lose a mobile suit because you accidentally shot uh, a friendly or whatnot, and then all of a sudden the guards will aggro you for an hour. <laughs> So basically, you can't go to the base with a mobile suit or anything for like an entire hour. And if you log off, you can't log in for an hour. So it has a little bit of a harsh learning curve as far as that goes, but it's okay. Uh, for tank to tank combat, generally, uh, the MBT shoots around 999 uh, meters. So if you go at least above 1,000, you're uh, pretty safe. I think you can shoot with an MBT about 1,100 or something like that meters. 
uh, so you can kind of lure them in and uh, start picking them off without having to worry about reprisals. And it's a good way to farm stat points as well. Uh, unfortunately, the Federation side has more long range weaponry as far as mobile suits, so you can't really do as much farming uh, later on. Uh, when I was playing Federation, S, uh, South Cross used to be the best place to farm stat points because you'd have like all these uh, uh, high-valued uh, mobile suits there with like only 700 range or something, so you can just easily practice sniping or you can practice uh, shell firing and stuff. But I haven't found a good spot for Xeon yet. And I'm still relatively uh, new as far as game terms. And the game all of a sudden glitched on me and made me lose targeting of them, off of them. The, the MBTs sort of have this weird glitch. Sometimes you have, it doesn't like targeting what you want to target it. And other times it will target just fine. I had this one MBT that'll... Uh, and it says I'm fairly damaged, so I need to start heading back. But anyway, uh, yeah, I had this one MBT, and I was able to trigger it again. Uh, basically, like, it's just weird. Like, I'd get right into this right zone at 600 meters, and then it would cut off the targeting. So I'd have to go right in at 500 meters for it to target again, and then I would back off, and it would cut off the target again once I passed 600 meters. But so, but yeah, he's able to target me. Anyway, uh, I'll try to show off the long range stuff, but it, you have to be at least one th under 1,000 to target it, and then I go kablooey. Uh, but that's okay. Like I said, uh, Brigillos are like zero cost other than ammo, so didn't really lose too much. And unfortunately, uh, it likes to frames per second cut off like it did there. But uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm typing notes to myself for the actual commentary here that I'm giving. And you notice that the guy that we just ran into earlier flown off on us, being a little cheapskate. But anyway, uh, that was, we'll just go ahead and take the walk back. As you can clearly see, uh, like barely on the screen there, we're within walking distance of the uh, Xeon base. So we have no real need to waste cash. I'll show about the uh, camera angles on my next video. I have a nice. I recorded like uh, about 50, about 50 minutes worth of footage for uh, the next video, and I have to edit it out. Uh, basically, what I did was right after this, is I went to a Newman uh, PVP session, and uh, I recorded like the whole the whole battle uh, from as far as I can get it. But uh, basically, I was just talking about if I was a Zaku, then I, mean, I just talking about getting MS and uh, stuff like that. Like if I was piloting a Zaku, I'd get MS skill. If I was piloting a fighter or a helicopter, I'd get fighter skill. Uh, here's all the different skill points you can get, like air engagement uh, is fighting with with fighters, and back is your dodge. Uh, Beam cartridges if you're using beam weapons. More important if you're Federation than if you are Xeon. Uh, QCB is close quarters combat. Uh, so on and so forth. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it transcribed quite well as I wanted it to. But uh, basically, like this, like most of this stuff here is shell fired. Like the Magilla battle tank is shell fired. Uh, then there's ground combat, which is just fighting on the ground. Uh, and like I said, uh, what a lot of what I can't say here, what I'm 
not failing to say quite well. You can read plot wise uh, because I'm actually walking faster than I think I am. <laughs> and then there's also space combat. Uh, there's actually two arenas. There's ground combat and there's space combat. Uh, I'm not going to be touching the space combat. I might do a quick spill on it with an alt or something, but I'm not going to go into it too much for it. And then there's some skills that are just grab bag, like the engagements are grab bag, and uh, weapon manipulation is your accuracy, and uh, depending on what weapons you use, like if you use a lot of swords and stuff, you'll increase your uh, strength. If you use a lot of snipers or beam weapons or just shell firing, your spirit will raise up. If you get shot at a lot, your luck will increase. And then there's also these five crafting skills. Uh, I'll show those off on an alt. Uh, just because I, this character right here is just for fighting and for having fun. It's not for actual PvP stuff because I don't think my computer can handle it. But uh, I want to try to make him at least fighting. But as you can see, there's. Uh, Battleship construction, arms construction, MS construction, uh, mining, and then there's fitting. Fitting is like your clothes and stuff. And actually, they just finally unlocked where you can uh, do battleship construction for people who like to do construction. You can get that up, and then you can get some battleships and stuff later on, probably. And you can also uh, toggle these skills. As you can see here, uh, skills with the arrow pointed up means that uh, you'll actively learn them. Like, if I'm doing like random stuff, like if I'm shooting a tank, then that means that I might have a stat roll of increase between each one versus like if I fought on the ground and I didn't want to have any more ground combat I could toggle it to where I don't want it to level up anymore and if I have too much ground combat I can toggle it down and you can also do the same thing with your uh, status points your spirit, your uh, body and your luck thing strength and your luck I mean But yeah, basically everything here is customizable. You have your own customizable character. Uh, you have, I mean, right now I'm like at 78.8 uh, stat points I can use still. So, uh, like I said, I'm fairly early in the game, but you have to invest a lot of time to start grinding up your skills or you'll get owned in PvP combat. I'm just saying, pretty much. And here's some more uh, mobile suits for you, in case you wanted to see them. Like, here's a Zaku Cannon. And each supply base has uh, these little vehicles here. You can actually buy these little vehicles, but uh, they put NPC coding for these. Like there's the hangar, there's machines, uh, and stuff like that. So f since we lost our Magilla, we have to buy a new one. And you notice there's plenty of stuff. Now we got Magilla attack tank. But we're not done yet. We have to actually buy the weapon and the ammo for it. So let's go ahead and go to this uh, weapon shop here. And by the way, any cash that you earn uh, goes directly into your bank. And uh, as Xander pointed out in last video, any sh it goes based off what your damage is. So basically, if you want like a lot of cash, uh, you don't have to use like a high-powered weapon. If you want just all stat points, you go with a low-powered weapon. So, uh, that's up to you how you want to decide to do stuff.
Anyway, uh, you can't buy another suit if you're in a suit. Uh, and you can't sell a suit if you're in a... You can't sell the suit you're in if uh, you're wanting to sell it. As you can see, there's the bank. Here's the hangar. As you can see, I've already sold my uh, regular starting suit. I'm saving up for something. Yeah, I think I already lost one due to something silly, and then the other one I sold off because I wanted a better mobile suit. But as you can see, there's uh, repair kits, there's sabers, uh, shields, all, all sorts of stuff for you. But since uh, we're going for Megillah, we want to tank fire cannon. And now we'll go ahead and equip it, go to machine, and check your stats, and then go to weapons. Make sure you're not on all school, and go ahead, and there you go. Now you're equipped, and you can press R to reload it. Depending upon what weapon and vehicle you use, some of them you have to be actually facing toward them to engage them, and other times you can kind of be at a cockeyed angle. So uh, that's up to you. But we'll go ahead and get the guy that got us, and then we'll call it a video. But pretty much these videos will be sporadic, and I'll try to make, and they'll probably be rather long, just because of, well, it takes a long time to get to point A to point B in this game, uh, when you're just starting out. So uh, if I see anything noteworthy, or if I want to show something off, I will. But this kind of, as an audience warning, some of these videos will probably get quite long, and some of them will get quite short. Uh, but after this video, I'll uh, work on the uh, Battle of Newman, which started right after this. And then uh, I have another project that was uh, requested. Uh, where we review a text-based shooter and explain how to play that. But as you can see here, just for me doing that, I gained that much stat points. So some stats increased rather quick and others don't. But that was just to show you kind of how quick you can get st some stat points. I'm going to go ahead and engage another one. about two or three of them for for how my level and experience uh, eventually I'll get strong enough where I can just mow them down and I don't have to worry about this anymore takes three hits there you go but yeah, um, actually we're re re uh, showing how to play, and uh, actually, and I don't think I'll do much LPing of it, but I'll show you how to play it. Uh, of a uh, text-based shooter project that I work on for the side. Uh, I don't own it; I just assist in it. Uh, And you guys might like it, or might not like it. Like I said, text-based shooter seems kind of weird, but it does work out. There actually is quite a lot of uh, text-based games out there, besides the uh, usual uh, turn-based law stuff that uh, you normally see, like uh, 2101 and uh, Ult. I'm sorry, not Ultima. I mean. Uh, Oh, what was what was that one? Uh, well, and then you have these modern versions of them too, like Kingdomy and stuff too. So, uh, this is going to be the final end of it. But I'll, like I said, uh, somebody requested that I do it, so I'll do it. And uh, I'll see you guys later in a battle of Newman. And like, like I said, uh, that one will probably be multi-part uh, because it's like an hour long. And I'm going to cut out a lot of the fat from it. So uh, later, guys.
and uh, if you guys want to nitpick, go ahead. Like I said, I welcome nitpicking. <laughs> or if you just have any general advice you want to post up, go ahead. Uh, but later. <laughs>